Battle Rock, so good to see you. Thank you for having us. And Memorial High School in Port Arthur had a special visit from Democratic candidate for governor Beto O'Rourke. Now he took a special tour of the technical school on campus. And afterwards, he talked about improving technical education in Texas, something he says is crucial for future generations. 12 News reporter Cameron Seibert has more on the special visit today in Port Arthur. Yeah, Beto was here at Memorial High School, but more specifically here at the Career and Technology Center, speaking with faculty and students who he says are the future of the Texas economy. Beto Rook, so good to see you. High school students in Port Arthur had a special visit today from Democratic candidate for Governor Beto O'Rourke. Reva just uh, described this as the gold mine. He says technical schools are a key part in Texas education. So we see tremendous value and people who are graduating both college and career ready right here in Port Arthur. This is the leading edge of public education in the state of Texas right now. He spoke with nursing, welding, and auto repair classes about how they can apply their skills to the real world. What are you able to earn? And he asked all the teachers one specific question. Are students able to stay in Port Arthur? In other words, they don't have to go to other cities to look for jobs, or, or are they able to graduate from here and find employment yes. in the community? Yes. That's great. He says it's important that students work in the city they grew up in when they graduate. Afford more options more job opportunities for young people to have a reason to stay here. And that's going to make this community that much more successful over the long term. That's going to make Texas that much more successful over the long term. Beto also talked about teacher shortages caused by low wages. That we have a fair and equitable distribution of resources. And the people who will pay the price at the end of the day if we fail to do that is our students. Because it's going to be really hard to retain teachers when we cannot afford to pay them. And as gas prices rise, and supply chain issues continue, he says Texas can be the solution. Texas is producing the energy resources that we need domestically, securing our energy independence from the rest of the world, including Russia, now that we're no longer going to import energy from, from that country. As the ninth largest economy on planet Earth, that's Texas today, we have the resources to get this right. We just lack the leadership at this moment to connect them. And of course, Beto O'Rourke will be going up against Greg Abbott in the race for Texas governor. Stick with 12 News, your election headquarters, as we continue to give you the most up update information on both candidates. Reporting in Port Arthur tonight, Cameron Seibert, 12 News.